StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between a laser and Showtime on Frozen Temple. In the top left side of the map, we have the red Zerg player. It is a laser. And the bottom right side of the map, we have the blue Protoss player. It is Showtime. So a PVZ here for you guys from the WCS 2016 final tournament. That wrapped up a couple of weeks ago now. And Zerg player, a laser here, hails from Poland, plays for True Esport. And this is Showtime. Everybody knows him, the German Protoss player from Team Millennium. I feel like he's been with them forever and probably will stick with them for a while as well. Very, very loyal to that Millennium team. A laser going for the extractor first, not going for the hatch first. Extractor into pool and not throwing down that hatch in the natural base. Probe here from Showtime. I love how he scouts. I love how he scouts. <laughs> And just going to try to go ahead and bounce around here in the natural base location for a second anyway. Not sure how long he wants to stay here because, I mean, a laser wants to expand eventually, right? He does. He's sending down a drone to expand at this location for sure. Gateway just about to wrap up here for showtime. And, yep, drone recognizes the blocking is happened. The blockage is present. And he just heads right on over to take it over at this third base instead. Bam. Is that, is that a little bit too far out? Let's see. Minimum distance... Uh, maybe he's good. He's probably good. He's a laser. I'm not going to second guess him on that one. Second Nexus on the way for Showtime. There's that cybernetic score on the way for Showtime as well. The probe scouts the presence of the second base at the third, decides that his work is done. Time to head on home. Some Sloverlords moving out for a laser to see what is up in the five minutes it takes for them to cross the map, which I, I mean, I like drone scouting. I just do. I like it. Cybernetic score about 50% complete from the Showtime. And yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. So, <laughs> If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you. I know I keep getting new people on the channel all the time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe if you like what you're seeing so far. Uh, I do do two daily Legacy of the Void casts every single day of the week for 14 total. 14 every week. Are you kidding? I've been doing this for a year and a half and I have over a thousand casts at this point. It's crazy numbers. Crazy, crazy numbers. Crazy consistent. I do not miss days at all. You can uh, ask my subscribers about that one. And anyway, welcome aboard. Say hi if you want in the comments, and I'll be sure to say hi back. I do like to interact with people who watch my casts. All right, so a laser is not going for a third hatch. That is not... Wait, he is. He is now. Good timing on that. Gets the drone here right in time to throw down that third hatch. And again, is this far away? Why am I freaking out about this? I'm going to stop worrying about it. Going to stop worrying about it is what I'm going to do. Now, the question is, where's that Twilight Council? I hate it when I, there it is. It's on the it is on the screen. Just can't see it that easily. So Twilight Council here from Showtime, as well as getting an adept walled off very nicely here at the front. Some lings. No, those are those are not lings. These are lings. Speedlings. There's the photon overcharge. And oh, they thought the adept was heading back this way, but instead the adept photon overcharged her way back over here and is still alive. Such a sneaky use. Did I say photon overcharge? I I meant um. Wrap, transplant, psionic transfer. Psionic transferred her way on over. It is too late. Why do I cast these games so late, you guys? It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Bailing Nest coming in here from a laser as well. ka -ching. There it goes. Resonating Glaives on the way for Showtime. Always an amazing upgrade if you're planning on getting any number of adepts. Well, I don't know, maybe five or six plus, I'd say. A very good investment for sure. And Showtime does love his adepts. So I wouldn't be surprised to see as many as 30, 40, 50 at one point here out of the German Protoss player. So Baneling Nest and Evolution Chamber at the third base for a laser, surprisingly, kind of spreading out his tech structures, which I kind of tend to agree with. Actually, I mean, a drop in your main, if all your tech structures are here, can really wreck you. But if you have tech structures elsewhere, maybe you can win a game that you otherwise would have lost. Speed Overlord coming in for a laser right into the main base. Does check out the warp gates. Does see the Twilight Council that is researching something. And it could be Blink. But it's probably Resonating Glaives. As there are a lot of Adepts coming out here. A laser sees exactly what is coming. What's his response going to be? Banelings, Queens, and Lings is going to be his tech of choice in this situation. Beautiful scouts from a laser though. Absolutely gorgeous. Lings ready to go in this third base. No, canceling the Psionic Transfer. The Adepts do not like what they see. They see a huge number of lings. They see some banelings that are slowlings, but it doesn't really matter. They can catch up to the adepts fairly easily, especially if the adepts are sitting inside a mineral line trying to shoot stuff in the face. 
A robotics facility coming in here as well for Showtime. Faster Lord getting chased down and murdered here inside the main by a couple stalkers of Showtimes. And Lings are moving out for a laser. We are getting into the thick of it right about now. A robotics facility about to complete for Showtime. He's taking a third Nexus here as well. Has a handful of Adepts and Sentries here to defend it. Which seems like it should be enough as that's a fourth base coming in from a laser. Five minute fourth seems a little quick, but again, if your Protoss opponent's expanding like this, you can pull it off. Couple of depths get separated from the pack. They packed into a corner. Don't even try to transfer out to escape and get murdered by some lings. Did they scout that fourth? I don't think they could see it. No, they couldn't see that fourth base, unfortunately for them. Lair on the way. That is a fairly late lair, but again, having four bases before six minutes means you got to cut some corners somewhere. you got to stop some other progress and try to hold it with Lings and Banelings for the time being. But yeah, Lings, Banes, that's what Showtime is dealing with at this point. Warp Prism moving out for Showtime. Speed Overlord coming in. Well, that's a Drop Lord coming in. Is he trying to put some Fear of Zerg into Showtime? Yeah, he's trying to bait out some Photon Overcharges, and he does. And he pulls what a brilliant play from a laser. Oh, man. Oh, did he actually try to pull it off here instead? Why didn't I see that one? Ah, the Banelings tried to sneak on up, but amazing pull. Great force fields. Absolutely harmless Banelings. Oh, tried to get Showtime's attention with this one first, and then the walking the Banelings into the third base, but didn't work. Didn't work. Yes, he pulled a lot of probes unnecessarily from the third for a while. Did Showtime, but those Banelings wanted to connect, and they couldn't pull it off. It's 71 to 66 Harvesters. A laser is pretty much up where he wants to be economically at this point. He's getting speed for his Banelings. He's getting plus two attack as well. Finally making some roaches. Some number of roaches. And Banelings trying to walk in here again. Great response time by Showtime again though. Killing a Baneling with sentries before it can explode on top of those helpless, helpless probes. Bunch of drones dying. Ah, uh, warp in here of Adepts. Four drones got killed during that attack. Not a huge deal. I'm sure a laser can live with that one. Queen's really wanting to kill that war prism. Can they get they get it? Dude, no! What? Eleven kills. Or eleven hit points left on that war prism. The adepts do drop. War prism makes a gutsy move, coming back to save those adepts and does not die. Manages to get the heck on out of there. So pretty good move. Pretty good move out of the showtime. Creep spread here for a laser. Pretty good. Not the best I have ever seen. Templar Archives coming in here for Showtime as well. Imagine we're going to see some Archons. There are, there are a lot of Lings in your opponent's army. Uh, Archons are a pretty great choice here. Archons showing up at this fourth base, killing more and more of these drones. And killing up to... I mean, that's four for a total of ten. Seventy to seventy-one Harvesters. A laser is forced to retreat or replace those instead of making... Additional attacking units. Macro hatch here for a laser as well. Spending his money pretty darn well. Showtime's money starting to pile up a tiny bit. But he is supply blocked here temporarily until that pylon finishes. Immortals on the way. Archons on the way. Showtime doing whatever he wants here at the 8 minute mark. Drop Lord along this left side with Banelings inside. An actual Drop Lord might try going for this third base once again here. Big old army of Ravager Ling. Here for a laser. Plus one melee attack has completed on those lings. Plus two on the way here as well. Attempted fifth base or fourth base taking. Banelings rolling in, getting five probes and maybe hopefully for a laser luring Showtime into a false sense of security here. I think he's going to attack from the top side and bring the Baneling drops in from the bottom side. Lings getting in into the natural base here. Not a good look. For Showtime, couple cannons, pylons dying there as well. Photon overcharge on the way. The cybernetics core falls. The Baneling rain, no! Showtime on top of that one, but the Lings get into the natural line instead. Anyway, their whole position on those Lings. Meanwhile, an adept drop here at the third base, getting some damage done as well, but there are still Lings here inside the main base. Zealots, photon overcharge, and stalkers are clearing them out. Fairly quickly at the same time, but again, Lings getting inside here at the third base, killing more and more of these probes. Banelings morphing in right under Showtime's nose. Can he save these units? Yes, warping in a couple zealots to kill those morphing in Banelings before they can explode. Excellent job there by Showtime. Still taking a fifth base or a fourth base under this pressure. Lings getting on top of that one, though. Definitely going to force a cancel. I don't think Showtime can save this one. Nope, there's the cancel. On the pylon and on the nexus. Replacement cybernetics core on the way for showtime. Infestation pit coming in for a laser as well. So essentially it is four base 
Two, three base, 65 to 65 harvesters. A laser is about half saturated his fourth at this point, but I like how he's continuing to tech up. He's not just stuck on this Baneling Ling Ravager play, because again, the Archon count is a little scary for Showtime. There are six Archons out. Bunch of Immortals as well. Great splits on Showtime's units. Corrosive Bile trying to slow down that Nexus construction. Not quite enough to force it to cancel. Banelings rolling on in here. Showtime again on top of it. Loses a few probes, but not as many as he normally should have. Ling's taking out a pylon here down at this section. And, I mean, a laser just kind of has map control at this point is what he does. Corrosive Bile's landing, trying to absolutely destroy that Nexus. Done a lot of damage to it. It's going to be weakened. When it finally pops here, pretty substantially. And a laser just refusing to commit, refusing to lose much of anything here. Did he... Was there a drop up here that I missed? Why are all these lings back here? At the main, I don't know. I do not know. Bane lings coming in once again. A laser not giving up on this, you guys. Not giving up. Zealots are getting evaporated and trying to sneak around. But no, they kill a cannon. Which is pretty good. War Prism here, I mean... Jeez, Warp Prism. You've done a lot of work today. A lot of work today. But it's a full wall off along that left side of Showtime's third base. The fourth base is up, but again, severely compromised. It is 200 to 188 total supply. Spire on the way. Hive on the way for a laser as well. Immortal Archon. The choice here for Showtime. And plus one, plus one has completed with those plasma shields. Plus two melee here is done as well. Ravagers have no upgrades to speak of. And I don't know. I just feel like Showtime has a pretty good composition here. He can do whatever he wants. The Archons can absorb a lot of Lings, a lot of Bane Lings, and keep on ticking, doing extra damage versus those biological units. Speed Overlords running for their lives. In the face of this Onslaught, coming toward his fourth base for a laser. And a Zealot counterattack here, coming up inside into the natural. What's the reaction timer from a laser on that one? Going for it! Is a laser. Banelings trying to crash on what they can, getting some good hits, but not killing much of anything at all. Surprisingly, there. Banelings again trying to get on in. There we go, doing a lot more damage in that situation. The Archons are following pretty are falling pretty quickly here, but Zealots on top of these lings as well. More Baneling hits. Are there still enough Zealots to make this thing work? The Ravagers trying to kill the War Prism. They get it. Big pickup there by a laser. And yes, actually forced this army back, this small group of Ravagers in production. 84 lings for a laser. Is this counterattack enough to do this thing? The Archons are gone. I don't know if there's enough to save this base for Showtime. This fourth base could be in a lot of trouble. The Zealots coming on in, getting cleaned up first by these plus two Zerglings. Getting Adrenal Glands on those guys as well. Greater Spire on the way. For a laser and Showtime making another attack here with Zealots with a couple Immortals and a Sentry. I just don't know. The Archons, there are four of them here, which is good. Going for the surround anyway, though, is a laser. Krosa Biles landing in the right in the middle of that army. The Immortal is getting taken down. The Archons as well doing fairly well in the situation, but getting destroyed with 10 kills on that one. Lings, Banelings morphing on in, setting up for an assault on this fourth base. Is a laser. Can he get this thing done? It's 124 to 92 total supply. Ling's trying to sneak on in. Can they do it? Getting scared away a little bit. Trying to kill some of the pylons. I guess making Photon Overcharge less of a threat. Is there a Mothership Core? Yes. Where is it? So it's here. Am I just blind again? There it is. Okay, so it's heading away from the fourth. Is he abandoning this fourth base? The army's pulling back to the third. There is a bit of a Ling counterattack coming in here as well. Is that actually a full wall? It looks like a full wall. Amazing, amazing stuff. Anyway, fourth base does look to be forfeit. A couple of Broodlords in the sky from a laser. Corrosive Biles getting tossed on down to kill these pylons. So worried about Photon Overcharge. Few Zealots coming up this left side of fifth base on the way from a laser. Looks like it might die. Shotan's army is here. It is here to take down this fifth. And yes, a laser cancels it. He retreats. He's got Banelings. He's got Lings. A couple drones in the wrong place at the wrong time. Lings coming right on into this base. They have Adrenal Glands. They have plus two attack. These cannons are not in a good place for them. But the Mothership Core is there. And double Photon Overcharge is still a big threat at this point in time. So these players are absolutely rocking each other right now. Showtime's been able to hold on to this fourth base, which is huge for him. And a laser hasn't been able to take a fifth. Here, 14 minutes into this game, which I worry. I worry about that immensely. Lings, again, trying to commit to this fourth. Can't do it. 
cannot do it. Taking a fifth in the top right is a laser saying, I can't be predictable about this. I have to do it somewhere or Showtime will not see it. A collected group here from a laser. He's got queens, he's got broodlords, he's got corruptors, he's got raviders and lings. A lot of stuff in this army. Just kind of dancing around the creep, trying to do what he can. Lings again, trying to hit here in the fourth, can't quite pull it off, running for their lives. Maybe you go for an attack on the natural. Mothership core can only really be in one place. And yes, a laser is making that decision to make a bolt for it. Good warping of zealots right away at the natural base, though. Showtime's response time has been amazing at this point. Reaction time, just incredible. Ling's getting chased away. Showtime just absolutely dealing with this onslaught. Free Archon, though. 12 kills on him before he dies. But still, getting surrounded by like 20 Ling's is enough to murder anybody. Cannons taking shots. Mothership Core does not have enough for another Photon Overcharge, but I don't know how much it actually matters at this point. Showtime has been so patient. So patient throughout this game. Killing bases where he can, not losing bases, not losing workers. 19 probes have been killed, 18 drones to this point despite all the harassment we've seen from both of these players just absolute care has been placed storm coming in for showtime high templar getting warped in here as well broodlords trying to sneak on over to this fourth base broodlord link but the main crux of this army for showtime archon stalker immortal trying to sneak up to that natural base of a laser nope not a problem there. Broodlords absolutely shutting down this fourth base, killing an assimilator, slowing the gas income for Showtime is absolutely critical right now for the Zerg player. Another assimilator dies. Cannon's dying as well. Broodlords coming on in. Broodlings on top of these, uh, these cannons. These pylons that can be cannons at some point. I think Showtime might just lose this fourth base entirely, which I don't know if he can afford to do. He has another replacement fourth here at the bottom. But he lost more and more of those probes. The Lings are flooding on in on top of these cannons, on top of the Nexus. Showtime losing that one. Absolutely for sure. Man, that plus two attack. That plus three attack now on the way for uh, a Laser's Lings. And, and Showtime, again, pushing onto the creep and then pulling back. He seems a little bit hesitant. I don't know what he's seeing that he's afraid of. I guess there are some Broodlords here. here. There are some Raviders and some Banelings here. But this army for Showtime is nothing to laugh at for sure. Lings trying to get on top of this natural base. Photon Overcharge is coming up on this pylon on the high ground, but Broodlords have set up a siege on top of the natural base. Is the Cybernetics Core going to fall again? More and more pylons getting exploded. Showtime is not supply block, but he's bringing his entire army back. He needs to save his natural base. He needs to save these production facilities, but I don't know that he can. Banelings on top of the Zealots, clearing them out, allowing the Lings to be much, much more effective in this situation. Broodlords overhead, raining down those Broodlings. The Stalkers do have Blink. They haven't used it yet. More Broodlords coming in from the left side. It is an amazing concave here from the Zerg player. Storm on top of the Ravagers, on top of the Broodlords. I'm not sure how much a laser cares in this situation. The Archons are valiantly doing everything that they possibly can, but they're slowly getting whittled down by the Broodlings and the Broodlords on overhead. It is now 133 to 83 total supply. Showtime pulling back into his natural base, a seventh base on the way from a laser at this point. I don't think there's anything that Showtime can do to stop this ravaging from happening right on now. Another Photon Overcharge does come up. Mothership Core desperately trying to do what she can, but it's not going to be enough. The third base under assault here as well. Lings moving on into this fourth base with that plus two attack and that is it a gg from showtime showtime is defeated and a laser is victorious incredible display there from both of these players a laser just making it work making it happen taking up to those brew lords again showtime tried to make it try to deal with the brew lords essentially with archon and stalker and it's just it's a difficult thing to do the blinks weren't quite there the ravager link count was enough to really make the stalkers think twice about blinking right up underneath the Broodlords, a laser always had protection for them, always had a small army at the very least defending them when they needed it, and it really paid off for him. So in the end, Broodlords, good Tempest, probably could have been good for Showtime, but he didn't have any Stargates. It can be hard. Well, he actually he did have one Stargate. Okay, so it can be hard to get enough Tempest to deal with Broodlord off of one Stargate, but at least he had a head start if he decided to go there. But in the end, did not, and Zerg gets the win. So that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. 
And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Patrons, Nicholas Cheek, Sean Govan, Nick Riley, Josh Cornelius, Jin, Jeff Duvall, K.N., Matt Meermans, Hagon Marcus, Back Bertie, Alex Coffey, Ben Raboyne, 19 Day, Keith Garlow, Alexandros Canaris, Complex, Ian Westbrook, Michael McIntosh, Sam Estegoy, Bo Set, Kale Anderson, Trevor Smith, Menhadine, GMP, Sip Kapada, Konma, Michael Wellen, Plaid, Henry Cooper, Clayton Knight, Jan Kodera, Kevin Shang, Rajiv Vat, The Cosmic Phoenix, Peter Hawes, Andre Breit, Mither, Thank You, Leak, The Top Right, Bye.